helped me make that banjo when I went to the banjo making camp. So he gets some credit. But if you ever want to really find open back banjo, Chanterelle banjos made by Mike Rance here. Really, really nice sound. Well, this song here we wrote for my grandmother's oldest brother, my Uncle Roy Lee. Now he was like the black sheep of the family because he didn't go down in the coal mines. You see, almost everybody in our family was a miner. My great grandfathers, my grandfathers, my great uncles, and my uncles were all coal miners. But my grandmother's oldest brother, Uncle Roy Lee, did not go in the mines. And you see, he had a very good reason for doing that because even when he was a little boy, he knew he liked to tell other people what to do. And he figured in the coal mine, he just wasn't going to have much opportunity for that. So he better find another vocation. So he was the first person in our family to go to college. And he became what you would call the headmaster of a boys' school. And he was very happy in his work because he told a lot of people what to do his whole life. So, but Uncle Roy Lee did go down in the mines one summer because it was going on senior year of high school. You know, he was getting to be 17 years old and it was last year of high school. And um, Uncle Roy Lee was very handsome. He was like the George Clooney of Jewel Ridge. And, um, and he couldn't understand why he wasn't getting as many dates as he felt like his good looks merited. And he decided it all came down to the fact that he didn't have a car. So he decided to go down in the mines so he could get one. So the summer before senior year, he went down in the mines, and at the end of summer, he had enough money to buy a pink Chevy. And that's the car that he bought. And you see, he was so popular going around Tazewell County, driving this pink Chevy, and all the girls just thought he was the best. And he met his future bride-to-be, my Aunt Phyllis. And in fact, he was so popular altogether that at the end of school year, he was voted the May Day King because he drove everyone around in his pink car. So Uncle Roy Lee would tell us the story of him and his pink car at breakfast, and at lunch, and at dinner, and the next morning at breakfast. And I started to worry about him until I realized that Uncle Roy Lee was doing what he does best, which is tell other people what to do. So he was basically saying, should we write a song about him, which we really should, he would like for it to be about him and his pink car. So this song is a request, actually, and uh, it's called The Caswell Beauty Queen. Oh, 
Oh.